you disappear. Where would you disappear to? Nobody can disappear. The old man tried that and look where it got him. He lost his teeth. First he lost his real teeth. Then he lost his false teeth. You never knew that, did you? <laughs> he never confided in you. Yeah, he lost his real teeth one at a time. Woke up every morning with another tooth lying on the mattress. Finally, he decides he's got to get them all pulled out. But he doesn't have any money. Middle of Arizona with no money and no insurance. And every morning, another tooth is lying on the mattress. <laughs> so what does he do? He begs the government. GI Bill or some damn thing, some pension plan he remembers in the back of his head, and they send him out the money. <sighs> yeah, they send him the money, but it's not enough money. Costs a lot to get all your teeth yanked. They charge by the individual tooth, you know. I mean, one tooth isn't equal to another tooth. Some are more expensive, like the ones in the back. So he locates a Mexican dentist in Juarez who will do the whole thing for a song and he takes off hitchhiking to the border. <laughs> eight days it takes him. Eight days in the rain and the sun and every day he's dropping teeth on the blacktop and nobody will pick him up because his mouth's full of blood. Finally, he stumbles into the dentist. Dentist takes all his money and all his teeth, and there he is in Mexico with his gums sewed up and his pockets empty. <sighs> so I go out there to see him. See, I go out there and I take him out for a nice Chinese dinner. But he doesn't eat. All he wants to do is drink martinis out of plastic cups, and he takes his teeth out and lays them on the table because he can't stand the feel of them. And we ask the waitress for one of those doggy bags to take the chop suey home in, so he drops his teeth in the doggy bag along with the chop suey. And then we go out and hit all the bars up and down the highway. Says he wants to introduce me to all his buddies. And in one of those bars, in one of those bars up and down the highway, he left that doggy bag with his teeth laying in the chop suey. We went back, but we never did find it. Now that's a true story. True to life.